And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Red Bay Tiger football. Hello, everybody. I'm Jack Ivey, along with Byron Hillams. we got Denise Ivey back at Control Center tonight. want to welcome you into our broadcast. We're live tonight, of course, in Red Bay, Alabama, on this, the Red Bay Tiger uh, football network. If you're out there joining us on our broadcast, honored to have you here this evening. As always, uh, we have uh, always got really, really great sponsors, and we we'll appreciate every one of our great sponsors that uh, make these games possible. And if you're out there, make sure you share this link with your friends out there so they can enjoy the game and also uh, so they can hear from our sponsors this evening right here on WRMG. Always uh, couldn't do it without Denisa back at Control Center, and we're getting everything set up for our Facebook Live broadcast as well. So if you're out there tonight, uh, once again, honored to have you here. Great team in town tonight. Uh, as far as the uh, ball club from Addison, Alabama. They are, they are a wonderful team, and uh, we're going to get back into our pregame show in just a second. Addison coming in here. Uh, head coach is David uh, Smithers, and uh, we appreciate uh, Coach David and uh, his ball club and also the uh, principal and the great staff there. They've done a wonderful job uh, uh, with this team this year, and, of course, they're always very hospitable when we go over to that part of the country there, and we really appreciate you for joining us here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Well, uh, Keith is uh, out of town tonight, and he's not going to be able to be with us. And if you're out there joining us, uh, uh, we're going to take our Facebook Live audience down to the field right now. And uh, there they are. Uh, the Red Bay Tiger cheerleader is going to be performing. We do have a very special uh, guest going to be singing the national anthem this evening. There you see Red Bay versus Addison is coming up next. And, of course, we'll have the uh, pregame festivities uh, as far as the national anthem, the prayer before the game, hopefully. And, of course, we'll have the Tigers coming out on the field in just a minute uh, with our captains. Uh, today's game brought to you by Red Bay Rentals. That's uh, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. Explore liquidation there in Belmont. And that is Jada Pitts, your manager, and Mike Stockton, your president. The city of Red Bay, also Swamp John's on our broadcast here today. Also Franklin County probate judge Barry Moore. Also, the Bay Auto Service and Detailing with Benny Kirkendall. Also, I want to thank uh, McKinney RV. Gary Armstrong, it does all your doze, your backhoe work. Dr. Larry Stutz, your state senator. By Dr. Stephen Ray and his staff. That's uh, Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Rose. Also on our broadcast today is Alpha Insurance with John Cook. The Medical Clinic of Red Bay with Dr. Raynard Fabianchi. Also, David Hester, your commissioner. I want to wish the Tiger Band, the cheerleaders and football team, a blessed, successful season. B.J. Rod Walters at B.J. Rod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Cessities on our broadcast, 662-676-4445. Also, 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collum on our broadcast. Bunny Gray at Davis Realty. Also, consider the lilies. Don't forget... Uh, They've got uh, those men and women's official Alabama collegiate shirts. They're in. They've got the new Stay Cool material. They're excited to announce about their bedding, the linens, and more. And we have the Sawyer Mills collection available in different styles and colors. We're now carrying farmhouse, rustic, and primitive, and holiday designs. Come shop at Consider the Lilies, downtown Red Bay, 356 also on the broadcast today is Kim Lindsay at So Cute For You. She does all your screen printing and monogramming, so make sure you give her a, a message there on Facebook. You can contact her there or at 256-668-0142. We're going to double check and make sure our Facebook Live broadcast is uh, looking good out there. You folks that are on Facebook right now, we just got a few folks on there. The game just a little bit away. As you can see, Red Bay is going to be taking on Addison this evening and uh, should be a great game. Addison possibility could be the toughest team we'll play all year we got some more big games coming up but uh, this is the biggest because it's our next game today's game brought to you by the cardinal drive-in on the golden road 356 2358 also community spirit bank your hometown bank with hometown solutions also on a broadcast today is fastway car wash miss ann vincent by your edward jones agent mike jones is on our broadcast here this evening uh, do me a favor, uh, I always ask you to do this, and I will keep reminding you throughout the evening uh, to remind your friends out there about the game tonight. Uh, it's always uh, uh, very helpful for you folks that will share this link and let your friends know that the game is on the air tonight. Of course, tonight's game is on WRMGradio.com, and there you see our brand-new uh, oldies station, classic oldies, WRMG 97.9 FM and 
a.m. 1430. We're going to have our pregame festivities right now with a, with a national anthem. We'll turn it over to our public address announcer and inside the studio. Retired just a few years, Mrs. Barbara Cashin. She was a faithful, faithful and beloved teacher, loving football and always had a special seat. At this time, Bailey Bolton, a senior at Red Bay High School, will lead in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us gather here tonight. I pray that you will keep the band, cheerleaders, and football players from both teams safe in the game and as we travel home. I pray for the lost to come to know you before it's too late. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for continuing to show respect as members of the American Legion, Marion Post 120 raise the flag. The Red Bay Band will play our national anthem. As the symbol of our nation moves skyward, give your undivided attention to the stars and stripes. There should be no moving about in any area of the stadium at this time. Thank you for your full cooperation. Bay Tiger band playing the national anthem before the ball game tonight or prayer by Bailey Bolton. Folks, we're just a little bit away from getting this game underway tonight here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We'll be back with more of our pregame show coming up on your hometown station. This is Jack Ivy once again live at the Fred Ball State Junior Memorial Stadium in Red Bay, Alabama. Welcome into Red Bay Tiger football again for our great sponsors out there. Thank you so much for being on the broadcast here tonight on your hometown station. Once again, the captains for the Red Bay Tigers this evening. They include number 22, that's Arden Hamilton. We got number 68 for the Red Bay Tigers this evening. That is uh, Caleb Seeley. We got number three, a captain for the Tigers, Jake Pounds. And number 70, a captain tonight is Dylan Hester. Captains across the way, um, can't see their numbers here, but uh, we'll get those numbers for you here in just a minute as they make their way out. Like I say, we're going uh, solo tonight. Uh, Philip Rogers is going to help us tonight, and Philip's uh, not uh, not able to get back here, so uh, so we're going to be by ourselves this evening. I see number 10 heading this way. Actually, that's uh, number 70. Number 70 is Isaac Robison. Uh, number eight, one of the captains is Colton Chambers. Looks like number 18, another one of the captains is Nicholas Rice. And number 72, the other captain there is Timothy Trussell. So the officials are talking to the players out there. And we'll find out who has won the coin toss here in just a second on this, the Red Bay Tiger Football Network. Thank you again for being on the broadcast here today. We'll keep you up to date with what's happening. Uh, of course, uh, down in uh, Morville, Belmont playing down there tonight. 
And also Tishomingo County, they're on the road at East Union tonight. Tish County winning over Belmont last week. Belmont uh, has got uh, uh, several players out tonight. Uh, they got some injuries. Got a couple of guys playing with broke hands tonight. And uh, But it's, it's going to be a tough task for the Cardinals as they travel uh, down to the big city of Morville tonight. We're going to find out exactly who's won the toss right here. Looks like the Red Bay Tigers have won the toss, and they've elected to receive. They're going to be going left or right. They're going to be going left or right. Do me a favor. If you've just joined us on Facebook, make sure that you uh, share this link to your friends out there. Looks pretty good on Facebook from here. So uh, we're going to have the teams making their, their way out through the spirit lines as we get ready for Red Bay Tigers and the uh, Bulldogs tonight from Addison, Alabama. On this, the Red Bay Tiger Football Network. I'm Jack Ivey live. And get ready for the Red Bay Tiger game, brought to you by some really, really great sponsors, including the Cardinal Drive-In. And right now, here come the Red Bay Tigers. Let's listen in. Red Bay Tigers looking for another win tonight. They've knocked off Carbert Heights. They knocked off the Phil Camel Bobcats and last week, the Hatton Hornets. Tonight, as I said, probably the toughest team they'll play all year. And that will be the Addison Bulldogs and they're making their way out on the field at this time. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Today's game brought to you by the Deaton Funeral Home, family owned and operated now for four generations. Also, Dr. Ralph Nick's Family Dentistry, your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, by Albin Mason Construction Company, by Predator Pest Control, Raul Thorne, your State Farm agent, now riding insurance in Mississippi and Alabama, by Med Express of Red Bay with Kayla Humphreys, Triple D's Bucket Service, by Engel Farms, Mike Engel, by Tiffin Motorhomes, Wright's Body and RV Repair at 306 Fifth Avenue in Red Bay. Your owner there is Chris Wright. Call Chris at 256-810-0763. Fiberglass repair, full body paint, decal replacement, custom trailer paint. 26 years experience with Chris Wright. Also today's game brought to you by Allen and Nash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling, your official short heating and cooling dealer. Also by Red Bay Pharmacy. That's Bill and Donna Weatherford and the entire staff there. Honored to have them on the broadcast this evening right here on WRMG. We asked you earlier to share this link, and uh, we want you to do that at this time if you have not shared it so the other folks can enjoy a little Red Bay Tiger football live tonight. Not only uh, be able to listen to it uh, tonight, of course, you can watch it live on Facebook, and it's an honor to have you on our broadcast. Addison Bulldogs, they're in white with their gold helmets tonight. The Red Bay Tigers are in all blue pretty much except for the white helmets. Got some, the kickoff coming up and it's gonna be a high kickoff going down to about the 20. Holt's got it, he's at the 25, making his way to the right side to the 30, tries to make the turn 35 and he's gonna be stopped at about the uh, 37 yard line. Once again, uh, Mason Holt and the Red Bay Tigers there on the broadcast here. So the Red Bay Tigers will start it. Two receivers left. One of those will come back this way. The quarterback is going to hand it off up to the 38. Maybe, well, that's about the 38. They're not going to get closer to the 39. They're going to mark him uh, short of that 39-yard line. That being uh, for the Red Bay Tigers, number seven. And that's Hunter King running the football. Pretty good size Addison ball club out there. Appreciate you joining us. Make sure you leave us a little message on Facebook to live and we might be able to say hello to you. Red Bay with second down and about nine to go. We didn't get much on that one. We're gonna pass it over the middle. We got an incomplete pass almost to the first down marker uh, to Colin Humphreys, number 17. He would have been close to the first down. He might've been just a little bit short, but uh, that pass uh, incomplete. 
So it'll be third down and about nine to go. We're at our own uh, 39-yard line. Appreciate Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company on our broadcast today. Also Triston Insurance, Kim and Calum Wells, and also Miss Brenda Persher, Mike Moore on our broadcast. Red Bay Tigers showing a little stuff different tonight. Arden Hamilton going to go in motion. And it looks like a big mix-up right there, and the Red Bay Tigers never could get it situated, so they end up calling a timeout. We're going to be, uh, I guess you could say, uh, uh, testing a little bit. You'll see what happened on the instant replay right here. The Tigers never could get it together and ended up uh, getting that timeout. Uh, we're going to show you uh, a little bit of instant replay here tonight. Uh, we've added that to our broadcast. And once again, uh, we'll see how that works and, uh, and try it out on you tonight a little bit. We're excited about adding that new uh, to our broadcast here today. Today's game brought to you by Redmond Heating and Cooling with Patrick Brooks, Residential Commercial Install Service Repairs, 662-279-6569. Also, the Banner Tire Store on our broadcast today. Thank you, Jason. Also, Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks in the staff by uh, Cashin Thermoplastics. And we're doing this game, of course, in memory and honor of Miss Barbara Cashin tonight. Miss Barbara passing away yesterday. Y'all remember the entire Cashin family. Third down and a nine yards to go. Quarterback back to pass. He's got a man over the middle, but he can't see him. He's going to have to pull it down and run it. He gets a good block to the left side. We're up to the 40, and we're going to be short of the first down. They're going to say he went out of bounds at about the 43. We had a wide open receiver down the middle. He broke open, and uh, we just couldn't uh, couldn't get it. And uh, I'm going to have to get used to this uh uh, replay here, but uh, and do it a little quicker. Of course, I'm doing it by myself. It's going to be fourth down, and about uh, we're looking at uh, four yards to go for the first down. Today's game brought to you by your hometown Piggly Wiggly by Sunshine Mills, Grace Long Real Estate. Also, want to thank CBNS Bank, H and R Block of Red Bay Iuka Fulton, by your hometown Big Star. Once again, Franklin Electric. Punt formation time. And pretty nice punt going down, and they're going to receive it at about the 26-yard line. They'll call a fair catch on that one. That was a nice punt there by the Red Bay Tigers. There's a punt. As you can see, the fair catch is made there by the Addison Bulldogs. No score in the ball game, just in case you joined us. Uh, today's game, of course, uh, brought to you by Runny Cook, your modern women agent. You can call Runny 662-423-8477. Addison bringing it up to the line of scrimmage. They've had a couple of key injuries as well, but they were pretty deep. Their quarterback is in the shotgun. He's going to hand it off up over the 30-yard line. That is, I believe, number 43 running that football. Byron getting those good close-up shots at the tackle there. Kind of helps me by myself. Uh, Weston Smith, the running back. Red Bay Tiger football tonight is a production of the Ivy Broadcasting Company. They're going to bring two receivers to the left, 8 and 18. That's uh, Chambers coming to the left, also Nicholas Wright. Quarterback this time is going to hand it off again. Logan Scott with some help from some other Tigers there to make the stop. Number 26 running that football that time. That's Caleb Kreider. So it's going to bring up third down and about two or three to go for the first down. So big play here for the Addison Bulldogs and a big play defensively for the Red Bay Tigers. No score in the game. This time they're going to hand it off to the right side. He is going to fall forward enough for the first down. He stays on his feet all the way up to the 40, but they may mark him a little bit shy of that one there. As you'll see, uh, the whole crew there uh, carrying him as he was hard to bring down. They're going to give him forward progress actually up to the 41. So where the guy had it marked over here is uh, is not where uh, they actually give him the ball. It was looking, I guess, across to that other side over there. They got first down and 10 at their own 41-yard line. Handed off to 26 again. Boy, we hit him with a good low tackle play there. 
We'll let, take a look at this one right here again. Watch this Tiger defense. Handed it off to number 26. Tigers hit him low and, and uh, held him up. That was number 26 running that football, Caleb Kreider. It'll be second down nine. They're going to give him one. Red Bay and Addison live here tonight on WRMG. No school in the game. They marked him at the 42-yard line. Today's game brought to you by Red Bay Reynolds, Johnny Weatherford, and the Contru. This time they're going to go to Kreider again. Kreider weaving his way and finally uh, gets away from some Tigers, gets over the 45 to the 46-yard line. It'll be third down, but still looking at about five yards to go for the first down. So the Addison Bulldogs will have it. Third down, just shy of five yards to go for the first down. Today's game brought to you by Explore Liquidation. Don't forget to check out the eBay store at Explore Liquidation's online, located in the Belmont Industrial Park. They got name brand merchandise from name brand retailers at 50 to 75% off. Quarterback in the shotgun. This time he's going to throw the slant, and it is going to be incomplete. Let's look at that one again. That was, uh, I think it was definitely incomplete. We're going to look at it again. Addison quarterback dropping back, got some time, the slant, and that ball, as the official said, is incomplete. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Mason Holt will check into the ball game. Elijah Luster will check out for the Red Bay Tigers. So Addison in punt formation back at about their own 35-yard line. There's a snap, and he gets it away. A little rugby-style kick. Holt runs it down inside the 20th, the 18. He needs a block, but he's not going to get it there, and they're going to throw him. Uh, they're going to probably give him a little bit of forward progress. He actually was a... Actually, they're going to place it at about the 14-yard line. 14-yard line is going to be where the Red Bay Tigers will take over. First down and 10. The second possession for the Tigers brought to you by the city of Red Bay, the mayor and the council there. Also by Swamp John. Get hooked on Swamp Johns. Don't forget, Wednesday is my favorite day. It's chicken on a stick day, but you better call and reserve one or you will not get one. And... Uh, Awesome breakfast, great food all the time at Swamp John's. Red Bay Tigers. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. We got a man moving a little bit there in motion. We're going to hand it off, some running room up front. Up close to the 20 yard line, about a five yard pickup. Let's take another look at that one. Red Bay Tigers, there you see the man in motion, the quarterback. Going to hand that ball off, and they're going to place him just short of that 20 yard line but a five-yard pickup by King for the Red Bay Tigers. Want to say hello to Keith Kennedy and his crew out in, uh, Lord, there in Nevada and New Mexico and everywhere else. They went out to see uh, Kurt. So Craig and Miss Janet and Keith are watching the game on Facebook Live tonight. Thanks to Craig, by the way. Tigers will pass, and it is complete up at about the 23-yard line. Keith will let you see that one. That pass was uh, kind of, I guess, in behind. I better hurry or I'll not get it to you. There's the pass. The pass is behind. A good catch there by Arden Hamilton up at about the 23-yard line. So the Tigers are going to have third down. They're going to send the big boys in here, and you know what that means, Keith, the old bone formation. Old Levi Blanton checking in along with Alex. And we got uh, Logan Scott and Cam McKinney checking in. Under center is Vinson, the quarterback for the Tigers. He's going to hand it off left side to Humphreys. Humphreys has got the first down up over the 25-yard line. We'll take a quick look at that one. I better hurry. And, well, I think I didn't, I didn't show you get it to it in time. I actually uh, should have went back a little bit further. But there is a flag of plays, the bad thing. Hopefully it's not against us. First down 10 for the Tigers on the pickup. A lot of folks are already online watching us on Facebook Live tonight. Make sure you tell your friends that they can enjoy the broadcast as well. And it is going to be against 
the ball club from Addison. They're gonna have a chop block against the Addison Bulldogs, and they're gonna step some big yardage off. They're gonna move that ball out to the 36 yard line. 10 yard penalty there, so it'll be first down and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers. Like I say, it's an honor to have you on our broadcast here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. First down and 10, Red Bay at their own 36 yard line. Thank you, Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry on our broadcast along with Dr. Larry Stutz, your state senator. Also, Congressman Robert Aderholt making this game possible and also he's sponsoring the coaches show as well. Tigers resetting here. They'll bring a man in motion, Arden Hamilton. They're gonna give it to him on the jet sweep going left side. He's got blocking around there. He's got five, maybe seven, as the Tigers will have second down. We'll take a quick look at that again. There's Arden Hamilton going around that left side and knocked out of bounds on the Addison side over there. We're down to five minutes and 45 seconds to go. There is a heat timeout, 5.45 to go first quarter, no score in the game. Red Bay Tigers gonna have second down and four from their own uh, 42 yard line, I believe it is, 42 yard line. Today's game, of course, brought to you by Gary Armstrong. It does all you does your backhoe work. Once again, he does a wonderful job. You can call him at 256-810-4596. And also hats off today to Theron McKinney and the staff at McKinney RV, wishing Cam and all the Tigers good luck this evening, along with the cheerleaders and the band. The Bay Auto Service and Detailing, that's Benny Kirkendall, your owner, located on the Golden Road across from 4th Street Grill. All lube and filter featuring mobile oil, mobile super synthetic, and also the synthetic blend. He also carries all major brands as well. Detailing inside and out, pickup and delivery available from the Bay, Benny Kirkendall, 256-376-2020. And also big shout out today to Barry Moore, your Franklin County probate judge by Dr. Fabianchi and his staff of the Medical Clinic of Red Bay by Alpha and Church with John Cook. David Hester, your local commissioner, giving the team's uh, good luck and the cheerleaders in the band tonight. And also B.J. Rod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Society. Second down four, quarterback rolling out his pass is going to be incomplete, intended for Mason Holt on the left side. Like I say, an honor to have you on the broadcast here on WRMG. Tigers bring it up the line of scrimmage, third down and four. Man in motion a little bit. Tigers gonna pass it over the middle. He's got a completed pass to the 50 and a be first down Red Bay Tigers. You'll definitely wanna look at this again, folks. Jalen Vincent back the pass right over the middle. And it is first down for the Red Bay Tigers as he hit number 17. Humphreys for the stop. So we got a first down just over the midfield marker at their 49 yard line. You folks that are wondering how to watch the game, if you have a Facebook account, you can watch us on Facebook Live. Quarterback back in the pass, looking for Arden Hamilton. Arden catches it, but it's out of bounds. Good try there by Arden, but uh, as you'll see, uh, the pass took him out of bounds. Arden on the long throw there from Vincent. As you can see, it was definitely out of bounds. So the Red Bay Tigers battling the Addison Bulldogs here this evening. We have second down and 10. I want to say hello to Bobby McAlpin out there tonight. Said you all sounding good here on the creek, enjoying the broadcast. Lisa says we're looking good and sounding good this evening. And it looks like there's going to be another timeout. Red Bay gets this timeout. We'll check out the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders down below. And uh, they're going to be doing a great job all evening along with the Red Bay Tiger uh, marching band. And uh, 
Don't forget, coming up, uh, of course, Founder Day is on the 21st, but uh, coming up, the big day is going to be for Anthony Pounds. I believe it's going to be on the 20th. Uh, check it out on Facebook. Uh, uh, it's going to be a, a fundraiser uh, with Swamp Johns. I believe the plates are going to be $10 with the proceeds going to Anthony. And uh, y'all continue to pray for Anthony and his family this evening. We'll tell you more about that as the evening goes on. But, uh, folks, whatever it takes, uh, if you – uh, if you want to make any type of donation, uh, we would very much appreciate that. And also, we uh, want to say, um, sad to tell you about, uh, of course, Miss Barbara Cash and Miss Barbara watched all the things we do. She really enjoyed seeing those grandbabies uh, performing and whatever they did at school. And uh, you could be assured she was either there. And also, she was wanting a, a Jack Ivy copy there for keepsakes. So, Barbara Cash and will 100% be missed. She was a wonderful lady. We're back to action. Quarterback, a little play action. A little toss blast to the left side. He's got 10. He's got 12 yards. It's first down inside the 40-yard line on this, the Red Bay Tiger football network. There you see the quarterback rolling out. He's got his receiver. He's got a first down inside the 40, and that, folks, is a first down for the Red Bay Tigers. Very tough game here tonight for Red Bay, taking on these Addison Bulldogs. So. Hope you're enjoying our broadcast. Red Bay with two receivers to the right. Vincent, your quarterback, brings a man in motion, and he's going to hand this one off, and we're not going anywhere this time. Big number 7-0, one of the guys that was involved in that stop for the Addison Bulldogs. And big number 70 there is Isaac Robertson, or Rob Inson. And I believe they also had a Matthew Harris number 20 in on the stop as well. Red Bay Tiger football tonight brought to you by 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. They're listening right here in Red Bay, Alabama. So if you decide you want to go get something to eat, head on down to 4th Street. And you can listen to the broadcast down there. No score in the game. First quarter, 3.55 to go. Red Bay has got a first down just inside the 40-yard line. This time they're going to be a flag. Arden Hamilton on the sweep. Is going to be uh, thrown out of bounds at about the 37, but a flag on that one. I, I didn't really see what happened, and I don't know where I can get you a replay in time to see what happened, but uh, there you see Arden getting knocked out of bounds, but there's a flag, and we'll check the flag all about. Byron's got a camera on him out there right now, and... Illegal motion against the Red Bay Tigers. We've, we've been doing some different type motion out there tonight. Uh, I don't know if a couple of guys were in motion at the same time or what, but uh, officials caught us. Five-yard penalty, second down, and about 15 or 16 to go for the first down. We're at their 44-yard line. Vincent, one receiver left, one right. This time dropping back to pass, looking. And that pass is going to be overthrown, intended for Mason Holt over there. And that one, not too close on that one. We'll let you look at it again. There he is looking for the receiver there. He's open, but the pass overthrown. As we have no score in the game. Let me ask you a question, you folks that are watching on uh, Facebook Live tonight. Um, do you like the, uh, do you like the uh, replay that we're doing tonight? I haven't even looked at any of the comments. Ralph Winchester said we're sounding good tonight. And Gene says looking and sounding good like the replay, sounding good in Florida there. So Chris Strickland. Here we got a big play, third down at about 16. Quarterback back to pass, looking. A long throw down the field. It's going to be incomplete. So it's going to bring up fourth down for the Red Bay Tigers. Thank you, Miss Judy Bullen, checking in with us. Sue Hillams says she's loving the replay. Miss uh, Evelyn, thank you. And we got a bunch of folks uh, watching out there right now. So do me a favor, uh, leave us your information if you like our broadcast, like the replays. And, and uh, Corey Hutchison said he likes the replay. I haven't seen it on your end, so I'm just hoping it looks okay. And I'm having to turn around on a, on a computer here and pull this off. We got fourth down and 16. And Caleb Bragwell's punt is a good one. We get downfield, we're going to down that, and you say, well, Jack Ivey, I'd like to see that old punt again. Let's, let's let you watch it. Here's Bragwell on the punt. It's a good one. They do not come up to field it, and as you see the ball dropping in there.
Red Bay Tigers will move over to the defensive side and the ball club from Addison will have it first down and 10 at about their own 11 or 12 yard line. Quarterback's gonna hand it off and he's up over the 15. We push him back with some good defense, but we got we, we let him get a long yard. There's old Mike Engel checking in with us. Coach Jimmy Lavelle Mayfield and Mr. Ucellis had a big birthday. Thank you, Miss Liz Jones. Nice job, said she likes the replay. We're on Facebook Live tonight. That play did pick up three yards. It'll be second down and seven. And somebody has got a cowbell in the house. Can you hear that? That's on the Red Bay side. It's got to be a Mississippi State fan down there. Handed off number 43. Good running room. He's got a first down. We drag him down. And they're going to get us, I think, with a horse collar on that one. Uh, I'll let you look at it and uh, see what you think. You'll watch him. Uh, the flag comes in. Logan Scott made the tackle. And they are going to get him with a horse collar penalty. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm new to this or whatever. I, I'm going to show it to you again, I think, if I, I think I can. And let's see if we can slow that down just a little. I'm still learning, if you know what I mean. Red Bay Tiger football tonight right here on WRMG. First down and 10, that moves it all the way up to about the 38, 39 yard line. Quarterback's gonna pull this one down. He's at the 40, 45, up to the uh, 47 yard line. He's gonna be awful close to a first down. And they're gonna give him a pretty good spot. It's gonna be awful close to the first down. Actually, it's gonna be, uh, they are gonna say a first down. They're gonna measure it, but it's gonna say a first down. Ms. Sherry Harris checking in with us. Adam Henson out there, Connie Funderburg, Bradley Patterson, and the world famous Danny Latham checking in up in Chicago. Danny, I hope that don't call for no more Cowbells. First down and 10, their own 48 yard line. Addison with a the football. They're gonna hand it off to number five. He's trying to get to that outside. And boy, the Tiger defense is there to make the stop. We'll show you that one more time, see if we can. There he takes it right. Look what a good defensive pursuit by the Tiger defense over there. Stopping him for no gain. Second down and 10 for Addison. They're on 48 yard line. How much time? A minute and two seconds to go in the first quarter. No score in the game. Appreciate Michael Borden checking in with us. Uh, Melinda K. Wilson quad checking in with us as well. No score here in Red Bay at Fred Boston. There's the handoff to the left side over the 50. We're gonna push him back. He's gonna pick up about two. It'll be second down. They're gonna give him to the Red Bay 49, almost to the 49. Actually about the 49 and a half. We're gonna call it third down and seven. Thank you, Nick Mitchell checking in with us tonight. You've got Red Bay Tiger football tonight. Red Bay and Addison, no score. First quarter winding down 16 seconds. And Addison is heading to the sideline. They said, we're not gonna snap it again. If y'all want to go to the sideline and arrest these 16 seconds, you can. But the Red Bay Tigers are gonna stay out there and make sure there's not any trickery about to happen. But uh, that's not gonna happen. That is the end of the first quarter. No score in the game. It's the Red Bay Tigers, zero. And the ball club from Addison, zero. Thank you, Brent Raber, checking in. I also want to sandwich for appreciate Angie and Ted LeMay at Consider the Lilies. they got a large selection of flowers ready to go for you. They can custom make your flowers or uh, put you on some other items that a lot of folks are buying. You know, they like the throws. They like the wind chimes. they got these really nice candles and those type of things that people are buying. They've got a lot of holiday stuff coming in, a lot of new stuff. They even got some Alabama uh, collegiate wear. Uh, the men and women's official Alabama college shirts. Uh, some of the new Stay Cool material. And uh, make sure you go see Angie and Ted at Consider the Lilies. Also, big shout out today to Bunny Gray of Davis Realty. You need to buy or sell a home. Deal with somebody in Red Bay, Alabama. 
uh, Miss Bunny Gray. 256-460-8064. She's with Davis Realty, and she can sell anything under the sun. So if you need to buy or sell, call Miss Bunny Gray. Also, that great-tasting Carl Lewis sausage available at Swamp John's. Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale, your bleacher headquarters. Also, the uh, the folks like Mr. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. Good luck to the Tigers and all the Franklin County teams working hard to make this the best year ever, Greg Hamilton. Right Place, Red Bay's beautiful new venue for all your parties, unions, and events. 256-412-8376. Thank you, Chris and Leslie Wright at Right Place for being a big sponsor. Third down and eight, long throw down, and it is complete. At the Red Bay Tiger 31-yard line, he was wide open on that one. We'll show that one to you again. Quarterback, he rolls out to the right, looks downfield, and as you can see him, we had a couple of defenders there, but uh, we left him open. But I got you good news, it's coming back. I see a flag on the field. So that completed pass is null and void. And that flag was thrown at the original line of scrimmage, so we're gonna step off 10 there, holding against Addison. That's going to move it all the way back to the 38-yard line. Thank you, Brent Raper, checking in with us tonight. Also, Brittany Dobbs checking in. Now, folks, if you've not shared this link, uh, you need to do so right now. Help us get a lot more folks on here watching. We go to a lot of extra trouble, trouble so you can watch this, and uh, we want a lot of folks watching if we're going to uh, give you these extra things to watch. You know what I mean? So make sure you share it. Third down and 20. Big play here. Tigers got a lot of folks right on the line of scrimmage. You can see we got a bunch of them. Now there's another flag. Actually, it's not going to be a flag. It's going to be a timeout by the Addison Bulldogs. So Addison gets a timeout. Red Bay Tiger football tonight brought to you by Congressman Robert Idaho. We appreciate the congressman, and he does a wonderful, wonderful job for area. And, of course, he's made some trips down to Red Bay, Alabama, and He's always in the district, and uh, Congressman Idaho making the game possible today. Kim Lindsay does all your screen printing and monogramming on her broadcast. Let's listen in to that Red Bay Tiger band. <laughs> Red Bay Tiger marching band here in Red Bay, Alabama tonight. Always an honor to have you on our broadcast. We do not have a score uh, from Belmont and Morville. Big game here tonight, third down and 20. They need to get down to the Red Bay Tiger, about 42-yard line for first down. Quarterback back to pass, looking, looking, got plenty of time. Long throw down. It is tipped away and incomplete. Good coverage uh, by the Red Bay Tigers, and it'll be fourth down. Quarterback, as you see, back to pass, had plenty of time. He had great protection, and the Tigers back to knock that one away. Nicely done by the Tigers. It'll be fourth down. And Mason Holt backing up for the Red Bay Tigers. So they're in punt formation. Mason Holt's back at his 35. Mason, catch that ball. There's the punt. Oh, it's off the side of his foot. Guess what? It's not, uh, the punt's only going to go seven yards. The punt's only going to go seven yards. I'll let you take a look at that again. There's the punt, and as you can see, uh, they're running back to the ball there, and you see it bouncing only about seven yards downfield from the line of scrimmage. And the Red Bay Tigers will have it at the Addison 45-yard line. First down and 10. Today's game brought to you by Community Spirit Bank, your hometown bank with hometown locations. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. This time the quarterback pulls it down. He's at the 45 to the 43. They may give him to the 41-yard line. 
Vinson there on the run for the Tigers. Number 15 there for the stop for the Bulldogs of Addison. That's Quentin Barley in on the stop. He's going to pick up. Pick up about four to be second down and six for the Red Bay Tigers. Oh, A.J. Deaton in Japan listening to the broadcast. He said his phone's not letting him watch it, but he's listening. A.J., we're glad you're there. Second down at about six. This time the Red Bay Tigers hand it off and not much run room for King to the 39 yard line. Got a score after the first quarter down at East Union. East Union leading uh, Tishomingo County 14 to nothing. And now we got a flag on the field. This one uh, looks like it's gonna go against the Red Bay Tigers. They're gonna step the yardage off. The official there right in front of us about to tell us it is a hold against Red Bay. That's gonna move us back to our own 49 yard line. Today's game brought to you by Fashway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vinson, along with Edward Jones and Mr. Mike Jones. Ranked highest in investor satisfaction with the full service brokerage firms by JD Power and Associates, making sense of investing. Member SIPC, and we're talking Mike Jones. Thank you, Mr. Mike. Quick pass to Mason Holt, 49. And it's going to be stopped at about the 47-yard line. Number 12 and 15 on the stop, uh, Mather and uh, Barley for the ball club from Addison. Let me give you the number once again for Edward Jones over in Russellville. Mr. Mike Jones, 256-332-79-24. Also, don't forget to come by and see us before and after the game. We're open seven days a week. We're talking about the Cardinal drive-in. Folks, you need screen printing, you need monogramming done. Kim Lindsay, 256-668-0142. And also a big shout out to Dr. Ralph Nix in Red Bay, a big sponsor. Fake it, jet sweep, quarterback back to pass. He's got a receiver downfield, he's open at the 10. He's inside the 10. Folks, it will be first down and goal for the Red Bay Tigers. Let's take another quick look at that one. We faked a jet sweep. Arden Hamilton, way wide open. Had to wait on it. He gets it down to about the five yard line. It'll be first down and 10, Red Bay Tigers. We get the big boys in and a beautiful throw and catch there by the Red Bay Tigers to have first down and goal. 9.31 to go, no score in the game. Power eye, Vincent under center. He's going to hand it off. We got Umphreys inside the five, down to the fours. Boy, they had it stacked up in there big time. I'll show you how stacked up. They got everybody in the box, and uh, they stop us after just a, a little bit of game. We're down to inside the five and the four, but uh, that defense was there uh, for the ball club from Addison. But uh, we got to figure out a way to get in this end zone for a touchdown. Live coverage here on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Jack Ivey live here at Denisa back at Control Center. Byron giving us that great video of here. This time we're gonna hand it off to Humphreys. Humphreys maybe to the three before he stopped. And uh, Chambers in on the stop for the ball club from the big city of Addison, Alabama. They brought a big crowd here tonight as well. So we're inside the five between the three and four yard line. We have third down and goal to go. 8-14 to go, second quarter. No score, Red Bay Tigers. Quarterback under center. And this time there's gonna be a flag. And I believe they're gonna get us with a procedure call that's gonna back it up even further. So we have not moved anybody as we had first and goal at about the five or six yard line. That'll move it back to the nine yard line. Today's game brought to you by Dr. Ralph Nick's Family Dentistry located behind the post office, 356-8641. New business hours are Monday through Wednesday, eight to five, Thursday, eight to noon, where your dental health is a part of your total wellness at Dr. Ralph Nick's. We don't have no receivers out. What are we going to do here? 
Quarterback rolling out to pass, looking. He's going to pull it down, run it. He heads in there, and he's got a touchdown for your Red Bay Tigers, Jalen Vincent. Let's take a look at that. I might want to look at that more than once, if you know what I mean. He got in there for the touchdown. I'm going to let you watch it again, and we're going to slow this one down a little bit. A little slow-mo to go with our uh, instant replay tonight. I'm kind of liking this. It's a lot of extra work, but there you see, go around the slow-mo into the end zone, the brand new instant replay from WRMG. And uh, honored to have you on a broadcast here tonight. Tigers going to go for two, and they get it for Colin Humphreys. I guess I need to show you that since I did, got back a little late because of the instant replay there. There he is, right into the end zone for the two-point conversion. I don't know who in the world's got that cowbell, but I guess if you score a touchdown, we, we can put up with that, right? Let's listen in, the Tiger Band and the cheerleaders. Red Bay Tigers up eight to nothing. Well, East Union is ahead of Tishomingo County, 14 to nothing. Morville is leading Belmont early in the second quarter by a score of eight to nothing. And here, it's the Red Bay Tigers uh, leading over the Addison Bulldogs. So we're just uh, in the second quarter, 7.36 to go. And we'll send that down to the uh, Long man as well. Vincent will kick it off for the Red Bay Tigers. And this one is headed to the out of bounds. We'll show you the tail end of it. You'll see it went out of bounds right there. Red Bay leading all this Friday night, eight to nothing. That kickoff going out of bounds and it's gonna give a good field position to the Addison Bulldogs. They're gonna get it on the 35 yard line with a kick going out of bounds. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Red Bay Tiger football tonight brought to you by the Deaton Funeral Home. Family on and operated now for four generations. A little pass play to the 35, to the 39. They might give him to the 40. As the Tigers luster there along with Bragwell, Edgeman over here in the vicinity as well. So he picked up almost five. It'll be second down and five at just short of the 40-yard line. Thank you for enjoying our coverage here tonight on Facebook Live. We're on WRMGRadio.com. We're on the radio. McAlpin's listening to us out at the creek out there. Tries to go left. Now he's going to get back right. 40, got a flag on the play as he gets it up to the 46-yard line. So I, I don't know exactly. I may not be able to get the replay in to show it to you. Uh, I'm going to get probably get to the tail end of it. But that you can see the flag come in. Let's, let's do that again. I don't think. Uh, I don't think I actually connected it in time to show exactly what happened then I gotta punch a button a little bit quicker but here's the this time the flag is against the well they pointed at Red Bay first now he's pointing at Addison I think he may have just pointed the right or wrong direction that's what I'm thinking eight to nothing Red Bay leads how much time 719 to go 719 to go and they're still talking down there Oh, 
Always an honor to be able to bring the broadcast to you here. East Union has scored again. They lead Tishomingo County 20 to nothing. Boy, a big penalty stepped off against uh, the ball club from Addison. And they move that all the way back to the 25-yard line. Red Bay Tiger Band and the Addison Band will be performing at halftime. You'll be able to watch that on Facebook Live. And also our TV replay as well. Second down, over 20 to go for the first down. They'll send a man in motion, 17. The quarterback back to pass. Looking, he's going to pull it down. We're going to come up. We got a bead on him there. We're going to knock him out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Great defensive play there by... Your Red Bay Tigers, number three, Jake Pounds. Jake did a good job defensively for the Tigers to knock him out of bounds. It'll be third down and still over close to 25 to go for the first down. Actually, with that couple of yard pickup there, it's going to be third down at about 23. Appreciate all of our great sponsors, of course, making the game possible tonight, including Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent, 356-4459. Ronald's been a Staple for Red Bay and Franklin County for many, many years. Now he can be a staple for you in Tishomingo and Attawamba County as he can write your insurance. Quarterback back to pass. He's going to have to pull it down 25 30. And we finally knock him out of bounds at about the 35 yard line. It, I don't know where we can, uh, can get you a little replay of the tail end of that or not. There you see him scrambling. Now he turns it down the sideline. Finally, the Tigers are there to knock him out of bounds. So Addison will have fourth down. Red Bay's got an eight to nothing lead, folks. Red Bay has got a eight to nothing lead. Mike Kennedy, Joey Allen, thank you so much. Uh, there's old Mike, uh, old Gene Thorne checking in, Connie Funderburg. Honored to have you on a broadcast. Fourth down, Red Bay back to receive it. This time Mason Holt calls for fair catch, fumbles the football, but is able to jump on it and recover it. And we'll let you see how he got back on that ball. Had a lot of height thundered. He calls for a fair catch, now dropped it, have to run it down. And their defender was there. We just uh, able to get back on top of it. Miss Regina Sparks checking in with us. Once again, Red Bay leading Addison by a score of eight to nothing, six minutes and 14 seconds to go. And we're going to have the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders down below as they're going to introduce them at this time. We'll go down and listen in. Freshman Sierra Carroll. A freshman Olivia Harris. Freshman Sally Hamilton. Sophomore Destiny Lancaster. Sophomore Chloe Noblock. Sophomore, Anna K. Kennedy. Sophomore, McKenna Abels. A junior, Kaylee Scott. Junior, McKenzie Hester. Junior, Madison Hester. Junior, Caitlin Buller. A co-captain, Junior, Alexis Tabs. And the two captains for the squad, senior Reagan Humphries, and senior Buddy Bolton. Let's give these young ladies a big hand. There you saw the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. We'll probably do that again before the game's over. Red Bay with the ball, big run up over the 35 to the 39 yard line. Pick up about six or seven yards. Uh, Clements, the coach, is leading Phil Campbell 18 to seven. 18 to seven. Uh, is the score Clements leading Phil Camel? That game uh, being played down in uh, Phil Camel tonight. And we have got a flag on the field. It's coming back against the Tigers. Lots of flags being thrown here tonight. 
Morville has just scored and taken a 15 to nothing lead against Belmont. Belmont's quarterback's out, several players out. A uh, couple of players playing with uh, broke hands and some of them are gonna be out for a few games. Not good for the Cardinals. 15 to nothing Morville leading, uh, 20 to nothing East Union leading over Tishomingo County. Here Red Bay leads eight to nothing and Red Bay is going to get a timeout. So the Tigers get a timeout with 5.55 to go. 5.55 to go in the second quarter. Red Bay leads eight to nothing. Thank you, Eddie Deaton, Clay Weatherford, Ted Weatherford. Thank you at Predator Pest Control. For all your pest control needs, we take care of those termite problems, 20 years plus experience. Call 80, 662. 315-2841, it's Predator Pest Control. Also big shout out to Med Express of Red Bay on our broadcast here tonight. Um, we also got uh, Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They try to meet all your high reach needs. You can call them at 662-279-7500. Also Mike Engel at Engel Farm for all your poultry house cleanouts and litter spreading needs. Call Mike at 256-668-0775. Mike was watching earlier. Mike, hopefully you're still watching, and uh, let us know how it looks out there in your neck of the woods. Once again, Mike Engel and his family at Engel Farm. Also, Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast here today, featured Allegro 356-8661. And also big shout out to Allen and Ash Harden. We got a pass over the middle, it's complete up to the 30. Drops the football, are they gonna say it incomplete? Addison folks are not too happy. They thought it was a catch and a fumble, but the official called it an incomplete pass. And uh, Addison folks not too happy about that. And I forgot to do the instant replay on it. It was close. Second down after the penalty for the, against the Tigers earlier. We're looking at second down and about 20 to go for the first down. Mason Holt comes split out to the left, two receivers to the right. Quarterback this time going to hand it off. Oh, no, no running room there at all. We about at the 22-yard line. We need to get up to about to 43. We're still looking at over 20 yards to go for the first down. We've got a Addison wants a timeout this time. Once again, our local scorers, um, Clements leading Phil Campbell and East Union leading Tish County 20 to nothing. And I believe uh, Morville was leading Belmont like 15 to nothing just a minute ago. So if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, uh, appreciate you very, very much. More, uh, once again, uh, thank you for being out there. Keith Kennedy, uh, of course, on uh, assignment out west tonight. Keith, uh, hopefully it's looking good out there. I know you and Craig and and, out, and, uh, and uh, the boss there, Janet, uh, is visiting Kurt out there and uh, tell, him we, tell him we said hi. I was going to see if I had this. Uh, I was going to give you another update on that uh, uh, other game here. <laughs> Clements leads 20 to 7 over Phil Campbell. We got third down at about 21. Quarterback back to pass. We're going to hand it off. We're up to the 25. You know you're not going to get that many yards on third down. We're playing it really conservative here. Didn't want to make a mistake. We get to the 26-yard line. We're down to 5.27 to go. A lot of time for Addison. And we're going to have to punt it in our territory way back.
Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. If you're trying to watch it, somebody said it uh, shows not any content. You might need to get out and get back in and maybe scroll down a little bit further down and you'll see the link that we are live. Lots of folks are watching and we appreciate everybody. Confirmation time for the Red Bay Tigers for on 25. There's the punt, low line drive kick up to the 45 yard line, a good one. Pretty good coverage down the field if we can get him here. And guess who got him? Hunter Burks got him. And we'll take a look at the tail end of that one right there from uh, the Tigers. You watch uh, the Burks man, here he comes right there. Tripped him up and they stopped him shy of the 50 yard line. It'll be uh, at the 49, first down and 10. Uh, for the ball club from Addison, Alabama. Red Bay leads eight to nothing. Appreciate you, uh, Alan and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. They're listening and watching tonight. 356-8913 and also Right Body Shop and RV Repair. We'll tell you more about Chris in just a minute. Quarterback, a little quick toss to the right or left incomplete. We better let you take a look at that one there as a Tigers had that one covered well. This pass is going to the left side, right in his hands there, and he was probably looking ready to turn around and run. Right body and RV repair, 306 Fifth Avenue Southwest in Red Bay, your owner, of course, is Chris Wright. 256-810-0763, insurance claims, uh, protective film removal, free estimates, over 26 years experience, fiberglass repair, full body paint, decal, he does it all. Hand off to the left side, some pretty good running room there. Picked up by at least five, maybe six on the play. Edgeman and McKinney in on the stop for the Red Bay Tigers. We miss an old Keith down there tonight. Philip uh, Rogers was going to help us tonight, but Philip unable to get back in town. And uh, William uh, hollered at the old core man. He was interested in helping us, but uh, he was unable to to come up. Another handoff, they're trying to get a first down. We'll see Smith there and it looks like with a spot, he may be short, yeah, but a flag is on the plate. Have yeah, they got the ball spotted? So it is gonna be a face mask against the Tigers. So it ain't gonna really matter there. Levi Raper checking in the ball game for the Tigers. Cam McKinney checking out. So a penalty against the Red Bay Tigers. It'll be first down and 10 inside the 40, 38 yard line for the Addison Bulldogs, they're run down to the 30 yard line. Defense, Cam McKinney checking back into the ball game at 351. Raper will check back in, not for sure why Cam came out of the ball game there. Today's game is being brought to you by McKinney RV. Sales and service, a big sponsor of the game tonight. Also, Red Bay Pharmacy. That's Bill Donna Weatherford there. Michelle McCorkle, Emily Evans, Missy Nichols, and Katie Grisham. 356-4044. Second down at about four. Hand it off, and they got a big running room inside the 20 to the 15. Stays on his feet down to the five-yard line. Great run that time by the Addison Bulldogs. Well, I punched the wrong button or I was going to show it to you again, but I don't, I don't think I did it in time to, yeah, there you go. There you see his run. He cuts it back to the middle and gets down, stays on his feet down to the five yard line. Here's the next play. We hit him in the backfield. Great play by the Red Bay Tigers. We'll give you a quick one on that one. I don't know where I can, I didn't give you, get it in there in time to show you the good one there. So the Red Bay Tigers backs to the wall at the five yard line, 2.37 to go, eight to nothing Red Bay. Addison trying to tie it up here 
in Red Bay. The quarterback in the shotgun. Going to hand it off to big number 13. We hit him right there at the line of scrimmage. This time I'll show it to you. There you see him set. Hands it off to number 13 at defensive wall there to push him back and make the stop. See old Cam McKinney. Big number 72 for the Tigers, Braden Parker. It's third down and goal inside the five at about the three yard line. Red Bay with two minutes to go, leads eight to nothing. Don't forget we got the Red Bay Tiger band coming up at halftime. We also got the band from Addison. Quarterback back, pulls it down. We're gonna sack him all the way back at the 12 yard line. What a defensive play by the Red Bay Tigers. Let's look at this one again. Actually, that's the wrong replay, Jack. I, I'm sorry, folks. I didn't click the button hard enough, I guess. So that moves it back to the, they actually placed it at the 10. It's fourth down and goal. Red Bay leads by a score of eight to nothing. Second quarter winding down with a minute and 14 seconds to go. Live coverage here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Thank you, Brad Ivy, checking in, looking good. Thank you, Mike Engel. Miss Phoebe Harrison will pull in for the Tigers. Chris Faulkner loving the replays. Judy Bullen, and we got a timeout. Mary Ellen Allen, and we got Kim Brooks out there. And uh, once again, an honor to have you on the broadcast here tonight. From a lot of here, folks here from 1964 class. Let's listen in. Just give all these people a big hand. A lot of folks in the class of 1964 here tonight. Thank you, Miss Cheryl Mills, checking in with us. And I want to say uh, we're doing this game, uh, one of our favorites and everybody's favorite, whether she was your friend, your teacher, your family member. Uh, if you knew Miss Barbara Cashton, uh, she was a gem, I'm telling you about. Uh, I always love uh, talking with Miss Barbara. She called often, especially when those kids were involved in certain things. She says, Jack, I'm going to be going to Mary Catherine's event tonight, but I want a copy to keep. And I promise you, if they were involved in anything from homecoming or whatever, she's got a copy of it. And she loved her family. She loved her community, her school, and she will be definitely missed. Tonight, in memory of Miss Barbara Cash and Miss Barbara. Everybody loved Miss Barbara. Y'all remember her family. They're going to try a field goal. Field goal kick it is up. It looks good. It is. And that will put three points on the board. That will put three points on the board. And that will make it eight to three. Eight to three. Thank you, Jane Johnston, for checking in with us. Mr. Robert Newell. Uh, Glenn and Twyla Graham out there with us tonight. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers lead in the ball game, eight to three. We'll get it with about 57 seconds to go. Red Bay will be running uh, with their backs to the field house, if you know where I'm talking about. There's Dylan Grisham checking in with us. Do me a favor, we got a lot of folks on here. Make sure you follow me on Facebook as well. You don't have to be a friend, just follow me, and that way you'll be notified as soon as we go live. And also, if you'll share this right now before we go to half, we'll pick up more viewers in the second half. This is going to be a great finish between the Red Bay Tigers and the ball club from Addison, Alabama. I'm Jack Ivey live here. we got Byron Helms with us. we got Denisa back at Control Center. Thank you, John McDougal, for checking in with us here tonight. Ashley Blackburn checking in with us. We got uh, Miss Lauren Gober checking in. David Humphrey's checking in. Appreciate Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Also on a broadcast tonight is Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic. There's the kickoff. A little squib kick. Mason Holt trying to run it down at about the 12. He's at the 20, 25, up close to the 30-yard line before he is knocked out of bounds. David Humphreys will show you a new little toy here tonight. There's the uh, kick and the return back by the Holt man. And you can see he has stopped over there near the 30-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay leads with 52 seconds to go, leads 8-3. to three.
Looks like Red Bay's gonna be uh, tickled to death to go to the dressing room. With that eight to three lead. Right now there's 37 seconds. We may have to run one more play. And we kneel down on it. We're gonna go to the dressing room leading eight to three. Once again, this is Red Bay Tiger football tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. And uh, once again, Red Bay leads 8 to 3. Stay tuned. We got a halftime coming up. We got the Red Bay Tiger marching band uh, going to be in here with us. And of course, the band uh, from Addison, Alabama is going to be here on the broadcast as well. Okay, you going over. I'm going to be just a minute. Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97, our score at halftime. The Red Bay Tigers, eight to three. Uh, the scores that we had uh, uh, down in uh, Union County tonight. Let's see, there's uh, Bobby McAlpin says we're missing Keith. You better believe it. 15 to nothing, Morville leads uh, Belmont at halftime and East Union leading uh, Tishomingo County 20 to nothing and, uh, and uh, uh, the ball club from Clements was uh, beating Phil Campbell pretty good in, in that game as well. So if you're joining us on a broadcast, stay tuned. Our halftime is coming up. This is Red Bay Tiger football tonight, leading 8 to nothing over the Addison Bulldogs. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company.
Great job, Bane. And we're proud to have you at Red Bay tonight. That's good, Red Bay. Give them another round of applause. Woo!
Got a halftime for you, score for you. Vina is leading Cherokee tonight, 50 to nothing at halftime. I'm assuming that's a correct score. 50 to nothing at halftime. Vina against Cherokee. Belmont trailing 15 to nothing. Uh, that is on the road at Morville tonight. Tishomingo County trailing 20 to nothing at game. Here in Red Bay, Alabama, it is the Red Bay Tigers leading eight to three as we get ready to start the third quarter. So the Tigers will be kicking off. And looks like Morville has scored in the third quarter and now leads Belmont 21 to nothing. The Vincent kickoff for the Tigers. And guess what? It's going out of bounds again, and they're going to get it up at the 35-yard line. They be in the Addison Bulldogs. Today's game brought to you by Banner Tire Store. We carry Duck Commander tires, new and used. They also fix tractor flats. Jason Parker, the manager, 662-676-2177. Also, Redmont Heating and Cooling is on our sponsorship tonight. That's uh, Patrick Brooks. And uh, hopefully we're still coming back in uh, good at uh, Studio A in Belmont, Denise back at Control Center. And uh, we appreciate you being out there tonight on your hometown station. Once again, our, our score eight to three here. The Red Bay Tigers lead Addison. will get the ball at their own 35 yard line. We've added a new instant replay feature tonight that we've been testing out on you a little bit. First down and they're gonna hand it off. Good running room, five, he's got 10 and more. He's got almost right at 15 yards on the carry. I mean, taking several Tigers with him. Here's the play for Addison. You'll see the big man run, five, 10. Stays on his feet all the way up to the 50 yard line. And we've got a first down and 10 Addison. Big boys up front against the big boys on the defensive side for the Red Bay Tigers. That time Addison uh, got the uh, nod that time. 26 running the football for the Addison Bulldogs is Caleb Ryder. Burks in on the stop for the Tigers. Today's game brought to you by Bay Diesel and air conditioning. That's Christian Valerie Moore, your authorized freight line and RV dealer. Dr. Rick Wooten at uh, Wooten Chiropractic, 301 Jackson Avenue, downtown Russellville. Injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing as well. It's Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic. And off this time, beautiful play defensively for the Tigers to make the stop across the way. That's worth another look on our WRMG instant replay. The play goes left. We'll look at the Tiger defender come up and make the play there. That's Mr. Arden Hamilton over on that corner on the right side, making a very good defensive play. They've got Addison the ball at the Red Bay Tiger 44 yard line, third down and four yards to go for the first down. They'll keep it on the ground. The big man 13 plunges forward over the 40 down to the 39. He's got a first down. 
Seeley and Blanton handle the stop for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay will send in number six, Nathan Elrod, into the ball game as number 20 will check out. Burks lost a helmet, so he'll have to miss a play here. First down and 10, Addison there at the Red Bay Tiger 39 yard line. Red Bay leads by a score of eight to three. Quarterback pulling down. He's got five and more around that left side. That is the quarterback running that football for the Addison Bulldogs. Number three, Dayton Roberts. Pushes him out of bounds. And he picked up about three on that one. It'll be second down and seven. Elrod back out, Burks is back in for the Tigers. Quarterback under center, that's uh, actually in the shotgun. He's gonna hand it off, we're gonna run that ball right side, five yards plus, all the way down to the 25. Almost 10 on that one, he's got a first down against the Red Bay Tigers. You'll see the nice run. Running over some Tigers there, and finally Cam McKinney making the stop for the Red Bay Tigers, but not after a big first yard, uh, first down gain here. Eight to three, 948 to go third quarter. Addison taking this drive at their own 35. They're down to the Red Bay 25 right now, pretty much all on the ground. Big man running inside down to the 23 Brian yard line. In the middle. Number 47, Edgman in on the 72 in on the stop for the Red also Bay Tigers along with Edgman. Walker and number five, Tim McKinney in on the pack as well. 72, of course, Braden Parker got a little McKinney in on the stop as well. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Damn, three, bring up a second down play. and almost three, or almost seven for the first down. Quarterback option, he's gonna pull it down this time, run all the way. Turns the corner, we got a flag as he turns it down the sideline. That was gonna come back as we'll see if we can pick it up on replay and what happened there, but the flags were flying. Quarterback going around the left side. And it is going to be holding, I uh, guess, the ball club from Addison, Alabama. That flag was thrown at about the 18-yard line. That'll probably move it back. Actually, probably made the 70. That's going to move it back to about the 27-yard line or so. Actually, they moved it to the 28. Thank you, Red Bay Hospital, on our broadcast tonight. Taking care of your friends and family close to home is Sherry Jolly and the great staff. She is the administrator and vice president, 356-9532. Also, big shout out once again to Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Marr, your authorized Freightliner RV dealer. They're going to put up a pass. We got a defender back there and a catch. Is it made? Yes, the guy made the catch. What a catch against the Red Bay Tigers in the corner. Let's see if we can get a replay of this one. You can see we had him covered well and he made an outstanding catch inside the 10. And they're gonna base it out at about the four yard line. It'll be first down and goal to go for Addison right now with eight minutes and 55 seconds to go. So Addison trying to put together a 65 yard drive here. Boy, good stop. We had him stop, let him get away and he'll get a little forward progress there. We'll see you that uh, McKinney had him in the backfield here. And let him get away and uh, some more help came over to help out to make the stop. It'll be second down and goal at about the two or three yard line. <clears throat> Roberts, your quarterback in the shotgun is going to pull it down and run it to the left side. He's got some opening there. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown for the Addison Bulldogs. It was run all the way for the Addison Bulldogs trying to get to the left side. Our right defensive guys couldn't get there in time. And he trucks it into the end zone for a touchdown to put Addison up by a score of nine to eight. Nine to eight is the score. Addison taking the opening drive in the second half, driving it 65 yards, pretty much on the ground. Tish County finally got a field goal at the end of the half and it's 20 to three. Uh, at halftime, Chishamingo County trailing East Union. You folks that are watching the game, do me a favor, share this link with your friends. They are gonna kick their extra point. It is up, it is good, and that'll make it a 10 to eight score with eight minutes and 13 seconds to go. 
Red Bay Tiger football tonight is a production of Ivy Broadcasting brought to you by Runny Cook, your modern woman agent, by Piggly Wiggly, Sunshine Mills by Grace Long Real Estate, CBNS Bank by H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton, by Franklin Electric, your hometown big star. We just had a jet go over very low. Also big star, Hal Keaton and the staff, also Redmont Pharmacy and also uh, one of the sandwiches we appreciate uh, Cash and Thermal Plastics. They've been our sponsor for a long time. And we're doing this game tonight in memory and honor of Miss Barbara Cash. Miss Barbara Cash had passed away. They will have her visitation on uh, Saturday night. Uh, that'll be at Deaton Funeral Home in Red Bay. The funeral will be Sunday at 2 at the First United Methodist Church. The body will lie in state at the church an hour before service time. Let me give you the number for Ronnie Cook, your modern woman agent, 662. 423-8477. Big shout out today to all of our great sponsors, including David Hester, your county commissioner, cheerleaders, football players, band. Have a blessed season from David Hester, your county commissioner. Also on a broadcast today is Bonnie Gray and Davis Rowley. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education by Congressman Robert Adaho. Also Dr. Ralph Nix on a broadcast. There's a kick, uh, we bobble it, go back and pick it up at the five. That's Mason Holt. Mason picks it up, gets it back to about the 23 yard line. And that's where the Red Bay Tigers will put it in play first down and 10. Now, Addison has taken their first lead of the night. And right now the score is uh, Addison uh, leading uh, 10 to eight over the Red Bay Tigers. So the Tigers are going to have to uh, make some adjustments here. And we'll see what they do. Quarterback pass to the right side. Arden Hamilton has got it. He's up pretty close to the first down mark. He is going to be short. Jalen Vinson looking at that offensive line, just steps up and throws it to Hamilton. Hamilton makes a nice catch. Picks a couple of yards after the catch there. And he's going to be a yard or two short of the first down. We're going to call it second down and eight. Mason Holt is coming split out to the left. He got Hamilton over to the right side. And I believe Humphrey's over there as well. We got a man in motion. He'll move over and set at the right side. We're going to run it. We got Mr. King. King over the 30. He's got a first down up to the 33 yard line. Well, I say he does. It's going to be close. <clears throat> We'll let him mark it first. It is going to be a first down, Red Bay Tigers. If you're enjoying our broadcast, make sure you let us know on Facebook. Uh, send us a little message here and let us know that you're enjoying the game. If you're watching on Facebook, do me a favor, just uh, uh, leave us a little comment there. Good and clear from down in Florida from this Jack and Brenda Elliott checking out down there. Getting ready to head on a big cruise. Tigers got first down. Quarterback rolling out, and he's going to pull it down, run it. He's not going to have too much running room. They're going to tackle him up at about the 33-yard line. So lucky to make it back to close to the line of scrimmage. Mike Schubert checking in with us. Thank you, Mr. Mike. And Mr. Martin Moss checking in with us. We've got Matt Brazel checking in, Philip Massey. Um, the score is 10 to eight. Addison leading the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay led at halftime. Oh, Joe Tesner checking in. Red Bay's got second down and about 10 to go for the first down. Vincent, and we're gonna have movement on the Red Bay Tigers. Over here on the left side of the line, we'll show that to you. Mason Holt, I believe, is gonna be moving just a little bit. You watch him down at the bottom of your screen. And uh, let's watch that again. Down at the bottom of the screen, see him live just that little move, just a little bit, and that was too much. And uh, now the Red Bay Tigers are going to get a timeout, I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the heat timeout. No, it's a heat timeout. 6.05 to go, third quarter, Addison leading. The only in the ball. 
Appreciate Red Mountain Golden Skateland Road. folks checking in. When the Gene says we're looking great tonight. Uh, I want to appreciate and thank Denise back in Control Center. Uh, doing a wonderful job back. She's only got three broadcasts going, only three. And uh, that's a bunch to keep up with. So but we're excited about you being out there on a broadcast tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. All right, here we go. Second down and about 15 to go for the first down. Tigers with a man in motion. Vincent, the quarterback, over the middle. He's got Mason Holt up at the 39-yard line. Going to be about five or six yards short of the first down. We'll show that to you again if we'll hurry. There it is, the pass over the middle to Holt. He's open, and it is going to be third down and four to go for the Red Bay Tigers. Appreciate you, B.J. Rod Walters, watching the game tonight. Down at BJ's Hair Sessions. She's not down there now. She probably would if you'd get an appointment to go down there this late. Quarterback in the shotgun. We need a first down. Quick pass. Mason Holt. He's got a first down and more. 50. Down to the 45. The 44-yard line. Can you say first down, Red Bay Tigers? Here's the play again. Vincent. Quick play to the left. Holt's got it. 43. Down up to the 50. Down to the 45. To the 44-yard line. It is first down and 10 for the broadcast. Red Bay Tigers trailing in the ball game with 5.03 to go. 10-8, Addison leads. Folks, this may be the toughest game we'll have all year. And this ball club is very, very good, as you can tell. Red Bay Tigers undefeated coming in. Now, they did lose a game. They lost to Piedmont. Piedmont's a powerhouse. We're dropping back. Vincent's going to get away. Now he cuts it down to the 45. How he got back almost to the line of scrimmage, I don't know. I'll show you uh, part of that scramble here. Look at him. Watch him cut and blow right by that guy and luckily gets it back to almost the line of scrimmage. Jalen Vincent. Second down and 11 to go for the first down. That play did lose a little bit. Benny Kirkendall checking in with us. Benny is at the Bay Auto Service and Detailing. Benny got my wife's car looking mighty sharp today. She looks like she's got a brand new one, Benny. It looks awesome. Evelyn Williams checking in with us. Humphreys and Arden Hamilton to the right. Holt over here on the left. We're going to bring uh, Arden this way. Quarterback back to pass looking. And, oh, it's almost intercepted. We tried to come back on uh, pass on the left side. And I'll show it to you again. It's worth another WRMG instant replay. And you can see he had that. Could have been picked off right there. How's the instant replay looking where you're at tonight? Does it look okay? Uh, does it add anything to the broadcast? It's a lot of extra work, I know that, but we're trying to uh, continue to improve our broadcast. We're missing Keith tonight, of course. Appreciate Swamp Johns on a broadcast. The city of Red Bay. Quarterback back to pass, looking. And he goes to Hamilton. He's got it for first down and more down the sideline. Down to the 20, inside the 20. First down, Red Bay Tigers. And let's look at that again. <laughs> what a catch by Arden Hamilton. First down, inside the 20 at about the 18-yard line. Folks, we're behind right now by a score of 10 to 8, 3.43 to go third quarter. Red Bay Tigers will bring him up to the line of scrimmage. You got uh, Jalen Vincent in the shotgun. King, the tailback, right beside him. He shifts over to the left side. One receiver to the right. He's coming in motion. That is Arden Hamilton. They got him on the sweep. Arden inside the 15 down to the 12-yard line. I know you don't want an instant replay on everyone, but I'll show you another good play right here by Arden Hamilton on the sweep. Watch him turn that ball in right there to pick up the extra yardage. But, ooh, we're going to get a procedure call. They're going to bring that one back. Chris Faulkner says the replays are great. We tried to stay ahead of the game just a little bit. And everything costs more money and takes more people and... Uh, 
But well, we're so thankful to have all of our great sponsors that helps, helps to make this game. There's old Mike Kennedy checking in with us. Uh, you sell us Underwood uh, checking in with us. We appreciate all these uh, great players and coaches that uh, put it all on the line on Friday night. Cheerleaders band, they do a wonderful job. Ag and uh, making this game possible here. There's a pass right over the middle. Down to about the 15 yard line. I'm gonna show you that replay for the folks that just joined us right here. Jalen Vinson looking right across the middle. He's got his receiver. He's hit hard there, thrown back, but he's gonna have a first down. Folks, that is the Red Bay Tigers down. Picking up eight down to about the, just inside the 15 yard line. Terry Parsons checking in with us. Uh, Madison Wicker, Jamie Criddle checking in. And the Red Bay Tigers now with second down and seven to go for the first down. There's another pass, complete. We're down inside the five yard line, first and go. Boy, I'm gonna tell you what, that play scared me right there. That defender was too close for comfort. You watch the defender, he, he tried to step in front there, but uh, the pass had already got by. And the Red Bay Tigers, Arden Hamilton, taking it down for first and go for the Tigers. Well, the big boys are into the ball game. This means it's a uh, bone time. Roll, Red Bay roll from old Joe Tesler. Said he loves the replays. Tiger's going to hand it off. Colin Uffers. Colin. Down to about the two or three yard line. I heard somebody said, quit running up in there. You're not going to get where with all them big guys in there. They, they want us to break it to the outside. There's Doug Lyles checking in with us. We got uh, Lynn Johnston Quinn. Uh, Johnny Stockton, Doug Lyles, Bradley Underwood checking in. Once again, the Red Bay and Addison. What a game. 10 to 8, Addison leads. We have a minute and 15 seconds to go third quarter. The Red Bay Tigers are second down and goal at about the three-yard line. This time we're going to bootleg it, and ooh, we're gonna are we going to lose yardage or what? We handed it off, and now we got flags flying everywhere. I don't know what happened there to cause all those flags. Let's see if we can see something at the end of that play. Colin Humphrey is involved in it there, and that guy pushed him, so I don't know what happened to or what was said there. The officials are talking it over. We got an awesome look there to see the officials talking it over. Red Bay trails by a score of 10 to eight. They're still talking it over. The easy way out here is offsetting penalties and replay the down. But uh, today the city of Red Bay Mayor and City Council enjoying the broadcast, Explore Liquidations. You know, they got uh, <coughs> Name brand merchandise, name brand retailers. Here's the play right here. Personal foul, Red Bay. Personal foul, what did I tell you? That's the easy way out. I could even show you the replay of uh, the officials there taking the easy way out. But uh, maybe it was both of them's fault. These guys have really done a good job here tonight. I ain't heard hardly anything. So that was probably the safest thing to do. Big game here, 10 to eight the score. Addison leads, we're in the power eye formation of the ball with one receiver to the right. We're gonna hand it off to the right side, Colin Humphreys. Trying to get to that goal line, he's still gonna be way short. It's gonna be fourth down now and go. Ooh, I'm thinking maybe about the one yard line or so, maybe one and a half. Byron, get me a little close up in there. Let's see how see if I can. We may not may not have too much time. I believe it's closer to the two yard line. Good job, Byron. Thank you, Sean Burgett, checking in with us. Regina Sparks, Corey Hutchison. Now, the third quarter has come to a close. We're going to go to the other end, and we're going to go to the fourth quarter. But before we do that, we're going to have the lowering of the flag. Night. Thank you, Jeanette Pearson, checking in with us. We're going to have the lowering of the flag. Then we're going to go to the fourth quarter. Red Bay Trails, 10 to 8. Let's listen in.
Thank you. Great job there by Miss Maddie Berry and the Red Bay Tiger Band. As we lowered the flag to end the third quarter and get ready for the fourth quarter, Addison leads 10 to 8. The Red Bay Tigers will have it fourth down and goal at approximately the two yard line. The two yard line. If you're enjoying our broadcast tonight, we really appreciate you for being out there. Do me a favor, share this link. Let's get the numbers up. Share this link so your friends and family can enjoy the ball game. Uh, they probably might want to last this, uh, watch this last quarter. Once again, Red Bay's got fourth down, goal to go at the two yard line. We have not had any luck at all, I'm telling you, running it up the gut. Thank you, Red Bay Reynolds, Johnny Weatherford, located at 7th Avenue there, 784 7th Avenue Southwest. Climate control, he's got the 10 by 10, 10 by 20, 12 by 24 storage units. 24-hour video surveillance. You've got access 24 hours a day. Johnny Weatherford, he's got a rental uh, unit waiting on you. Power Eye, we got them all inside. It's muscle to muscle here, and guess what? They jump offside. That's going to get us a yard, so we'll have fourth down and goal from the one. Mary Ellen Allen says, go Tigers. Oh, Chris Strickland, Felicia checking in down in Pensacola, Florida. Strickman, how's it looking down there tonight? Chris, we've added instant replay tonight. We're kind of excited about that. If the Tigers score here, I'll show you that instant replay score of the Tigers. We're going to quarterback sneak it, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Bay Tigers. Let's take a look. Tigers in the power eye, fourth and goal from the one. Quarterback sneak, the push. He made it in the end zone for the touchdown and the Red Bay Tigers have taken a 14 to 10 lead. And we'll go for two here. Oh, Mo Stanfield, Morgan said sounding good. Jack W. Ivey checking in from Birmingham. Brett McDowell after tonight. A.D. Horton with us tonight. Brad Ivey checking in with us. Thank all of our great sponsors. And they include Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore. We got the Bay Auto Service and Detailing. Benny Kirkendall on the Golden Road. Need an oil change, need a car cleanup. He's the man. 256 376 2020. The Bay and Benny Kirkendall. We're going to roll it out to the right. He's going to pull it down. And he is going to be tackled short, but we're going to have a horse collar call against the uh, ball club from Addison. We'll. We'll try to get you a quick last look at that. Here he goes. You see the horse collar. Now you'll see the flag come out. So we're going to try the two-point conversion again. Kelly Moore, you're right. We need to tighten up on defense. And Miss Sue Hellum says, whoop, whoop, way to go. Love the replays. Audio and video is great. Thank you, David Strickland, checking in. Ronnie Sue Hellums, thank you for being out there tonight. I don't know where the grandkids are at tonight, Sloan and Brock and Brunner, but uh, they have gone crazy with these bracelets, raising money for a great cause. My guess is who's going to be the next person to get a pie in the face. I don't know where Byron and and Brent and Runny, how far down the line they are to get in the pie. But uh, if y'all keep raising the money, uh, uh, I don't know who would get on that list. Tigers going for it on uh, for the two-point conversion now from the one-yard line, leading 14 to 10. Just starting the fourth quarter, 11:55 to go. We're going to hand it off. Colin Humphreys lowers that hand, and he's into the end zone for the two-point conversion. And yes. I'm going to let you look at that one again. That puts two more points up. Look at the blocking on that right side of the line. Watch him. Drive on into the end zone. Colin Humphreys. Well, we have got the Red Bay Tigers. Let's listen into the band and the cheerleaders. Red Bay leads 16 to 10.
Morville now leading Belmont. Uh, that score is 28 to nothing late in the third quarter. We just started the fourth quarter here. It's 16 to 10, Red Bay Tigers. East Union led uh, Tishomingo County 20 to three at halftime uh, down in Blue Springs. That's down there right close to the uh, plant. Brenda Humphrey says, go Tigers out there. I bet Brenda's enjoying watching this. There's the kickoff. It's going to go not out of bounds. They're going to pick it up and run it. 25, 30, 35, up to the, close to the 40-yard line. We've kicked it out of bounds the last couple of times. This time, it wasn't going to go out, and the guy went ahead and just picked it up, and uh, smart move there. Thank you, Theron McKinney at McKinney RV. Good luck to Cam and the boys tonight. From Gary Armstrong, Dr. Larry Stutz, your state senator, also Congressman Robert Adderhold on a broadcast. Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry located on the Golden Road. You can reach them at 356-8899. Also, don't forget Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore and Dr. Fabianchi at the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. And we've got a little movement on that line there from the ball club from Addison. Let's see if uh, we pick that up on a replay here. False start on Addison. Thank you, David Hester, your county commissioner. Uh, good luck to the team tonight from John Cook at Alpha Insurance. Also, the uh, uh, sponsor of the game tonight is BJL Rod Walters at BJ's Hair Sessities. Call for an appointment today at 662-676-4445. Big running man. We hit him low, couldn't bring him down. Missed another tackle. He's up to the 42, gets that five yards back plus. Finally, big number 54 for the Red Bay Tigers brought him down. Levi Blanton. And we had a couple of guys that tried to cut his feet out from under him and one was unable to do that. Red Bay leads 16 to 10 with 11.22 to go fourth quarter. Don't forget, we're gonna be off next Friday night. Then Belmont will be in town on the 27th. Shotgun, the quarterback's gonna pull it down. Looking for a little hole up to the 42, maybe the 43 yard line. Good stop by the Tigers inside. Cam McKinney and Mr. Blanton there in on the stop. Uh, Keith's uh, out uh, on assignment with the family tonight. They're out visiting Kirk. He's, Kirk now has got a ball game up in Colorado tomorrow. They're going to ease up for that game. Big play here defensively for the Red Bay Tigers, and we have got a timeout. Addison got a timeout. This is too big a play. Third down and about seven to go for the first down. And thank all you folks that are watching on Facebook Live tonight, listening on WRMGRadio.com. Addison got a timeout. This is too big a play. And uh, I was just checking our broadcast on Facebook Live. You folks are telling me that it looks good and sounds good. Donna Clements Thigpen out there with us tonight. We are Red Bay. Philip Rogers checking in with us. You're right, Chris. Addison still got that old power team. Uh, they beat us last year down there and won the division. And the Tigers are going to have to get a win here tonight. It doesn't get any easier when we get back into the play. We got, of course, uh, Cobbert County and Sheffield coming up. Bronner and Brody have passed $3,000 in bracelet sales. And Representative Jamie Kill is going to get the next pie in the face. Folks, uh, I think they were told that they couldn't get $300, much less $3,000. Quarterback rolling out. Big play, third down and seven. He's going to pull it down. Now he throws it downfield. It's incomplete. Incomplete. The Red Bay Tigers with good coverage there. He was getting awful close to the line of scrimmage. Let's see. Boy, he, he barely got it off. It's incomplete, fast was short. It'll be fourth down. I'd like to, I couldn't see it when I showed it on the replay. He was awful close to going over the line of scrimmage. Fourth down. Thank you, Chris Beerbauer, Logan Wilcher after tonight, Miss Phoebe Harrison, Brenda Elliott. Thank you, Miss Brenda, for the kind comment down in Florida tonight. 
Fourth down, Addison, punt formation time for them. We got a, I don't understand it. We had uh, Luster back, we didn't field it. We let it bounce and luckily it didn't go anywhere. 29 yard line is where the Red Bay Tigers will take over first and 10. Honored to have you on the broadcast tonight. Thank you. Uh, Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Column. Folks, if you're looking for a great meal in Red Bay, wherever, North Alabama, North Mississippi, I promise you, it's worth the drive down to Red Bay, Alabama, to Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse. You can't find any better owners, any better people than Lori and Brent. They do a wonderful job. 356 2226. Whether it's uh, some of those new menu items or the things you've been eating for a long time, that's awesome. Check them out. Fourth Street, make sure you tell them you heard about it right here. We're going to hand the ball off. We've got running room over the 30, up close to the 35 yard line. Mr. King uh, running that football. And let's see if we can get a quick replay of that one here. There he is, cutting it inside, running over the young man there. We do have an injured player down, and uh, hopefully the way they're looking, it may just be a cramp. Patricia Cole, thank you. David Humphreys, thank you. Miss Ashley Vincent Blackburn out there. Miss Annette Weaver uh, with us here. And uh, looks like they are working on a cramp. Don't have the guy's number there, but uh, hopefully he's going to be okay. They're going to help him up now. Big number 7-0. Going to walk off the field under his own power. That's Mr. Isaac Robinson. We we'll appreciate Mr. David Smothers and the head coach and Mr. Smothers, the principal. Uh, they do a great job down there and they're always very nice to us when we have to go down to Addison and had a chance to see him tonight. It is humid here. Straight man, I don't know where it's as humid here as it is in Pensacola or not, but uh, it's pretty warm. Second down and about four to go for the first down. Quarterback's going to pull it down. He's got one man to beat, 35, up to the 37. He's going to be short of the first down. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Jalen Vinson running the football there for the Red, Red Bay Tigers. There's a music man, Mr. Jerry Bridges, checking in up in Franklin, Tennessee tonight. Lisa Cochran Mason checking in. Thank you, Bonnie Gray at Davis Realty on our broadcast. We've got third down and two, Bonnie Gray at Davis Realty. You can reach her 256-460-8064. If you need to buy a home, sell a home, don't waste your time. Call Bonnie Gray, Davis Realty. She knows how to sell. And consider the Lilies, also a big sponsor. Third down, boy, it's a big first down. Third down if we can get it. We hand it off to Humphreys. He's got a first down for the Red Bay Tigers, Colin Humphreys. Let's take a look. Jalen Vinson from the Power Eye. Good blocking right side. Boy, cut right in behind that block. When he made that comeback, that was the difference between getting the first down and coming close to the first down. First down and 10 Tigers at their own 41-yard line. Thank you, Scott Frame checking in. Mo Stanfield with us, Miss Mary Ellen Allen, and Joey out there checking us out tonight. Thank you, Congressman Robert Adderholt on our broadcast tonight. Greg Hamilton, your superintendent of education. Carl Louis Sausage and Stadium Pros. Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale, we got a flag thrown across the way. I don't know where we is lined up off or moved or what across the way. Talking to Mr. Burks over, I don't know where he was the guilty party or not, but uh, five yards. It says we were lined up off sides. Our Steve Bates checking in. Steve is down in Morville tonight. Belmont getting beat down there. Live broadcast here tonight. Facebook Live on WRMGRadio.com. We're on 97.9 FM, AM 1430, TV 12. We'll be on YouTube by the time you get up in the morning. We'll show it again on Facebook Live as well. Red Bay Tigers first and 15. After that, oh, they're going to uh, almost throw us for a loss. How we got back to the line of scrimmage, I don't know but a good try. And another flag is on the play as the clock will stop at 8.08 to go. Chad Pruitt checking in. We got Miss Marilyn Mason Johnston checking in. And we're gonna check this flag here. Red Bay leads in the ball game, 16 to 10. 
Here's what the flag's all about. Ooh. Illegal hands to the face. A personal foul has been called against the Red Bay Tigers, and that's going to move us way, way, way back. Thank you, Right Place, Red Bay's beautiful new venue for all your parties, reunions, and events. Call 256-412-8376. Call for an appointment. Chris and Leslie Wright, your owners, we would love to accommodate you. There's brother Steve Lindsay checking in out at Red Bay Freewell. Ricky Garrison back there with us as they step off the yardage against us. We've added TV replay tonight, and I think it's gone over pretty good. You folks that have noticed the replay, uh, now this is on our Facebook broadcast, though, and we're going to try to uh, extend that over to our TV replay, our TV broadcast. We're going to run the football, and not much yardage that time. The worst thing about that one is we got out of bounds. Pick up of a couple, it's gonna be second down. Folks, we gotta to get to midfield for a first down and right now we're at our own 22 yard line. So let's see, 10, 20, 25, 28 yards to go for the first down. Thank you, Patrick Cochran checking in with us. Second down and about 28 to go for the first down. Red Bay, two receivers to the left, one to the right. I'm gonna say we're gonna probably keep it fairly conservative. We're gonna lay it up. We got a man out there. Holt's got it. He's got it, 45, 50. He's got a first down and more all the way down to their 45 yard line. Let's see if we can watch this one. What a play here by the Red Bay Tigers. Actually, that is not the right replay. I apologize. Apparently, I can't show you a replay on that one. And that would have been a good one. Thank you, Chad Pruitt, for the kind comment there. Red Bay's got it first down and 10. After the play's over, I got to click a certain button. And of course, I'm doing this, the broadcast sponsors and everything by myself tonight. Got uh, the beautiful camera work uh, in next door. Here is uh, Byron Hellams doing a wonderful job. And I, I didn't mash the right button to be able to have an opportunity to show you that replay. You needed to have seen that one. You'll have to watch it on our TV replay. We're going to hand it off. Dancing in there is Hunter King for the 40, maybe the 43-yard line, maybe the 44. They're going to see where they mark it. I think it's going to be closer to the 44. Well, this guy, where he had it marked over here is not even close. You see where the guy, he marked it closer to the 45. This guy over here that was uh, the line guy, it was a way off from where he had it marked. Uh, he may have been going with the guy on the other side. Thank you, Gary and Susan Puckett, Dylan Grisham, and Kayla Terry checking in with us. We got second down and 10 at their 45-yard line. Quarterback's going to pull it down. He's got some running room. 45 down to the 40, cuts it back inside, fumbles on the play at the 34. And who got on that one? I don't know what's going to happen. A plea, we got it. Let me see if I can show you the tail end of that. See that ball popped loose. And Raper recovered it. Now we got a flag on the tail end of it. A face mask has been called. A face mask call against Addison. Red Bay leads 16 to 10, six minutes, six seconds to go in the ball game. And that'll move the ball down to the 30 yard line. That was a five yarder. Jack, we have the best fan base anywhere, especially for 2A Tigers. Football lasts forever and we got a heat timeout. Chris Strickland. Checking in with us from Pensacola, Florida. 6.06 to go, 16 to six the score. And we have got a timeout. Thank you, Stephen Pores, for checking in. Thank you, uh, all of our great sponsors, including Consider the Lilies. They're excited to announce the brand new bedding, linens, and more. They saw your meal collection available in different styles and colors. They now carry farmhouse, rustic, primitive, and holiday designs. Come shop at Consider the Lilies. And you Alabama fans, Men and women's official Alabama Collegiate Shirts are in some of the cool new stay cool material. Consider the lilies, downtown Red Bay, 356-8313.
East Union leading Tish County 35 to three in the late in the third quarter. Belmont has finally scored, got a two point conversion. It's Morville 28, Belmont eight. Belmont had several players missing tonight, including the quarterback who's gonna be out for a few games. I don't know for sure when he'll be back. Red Bay's got it first down and 10 at the 30 yard line. We're gonna pull it down and looking downfield. He's gonna keep it 35 down to the 30, down to the 20 yard line and better is Jalen Vinson. He scared me when he went on the run. There he is, number 24 chasing. Jalen who's got good feet turns it in and gets it all the way down at about the 20 yard line. We do have an injured player down across the way. Not for sure exactly who the player is. He's a long way over there. It is a player from Addison, so hopefully he is going to be all right. Thank you, Cardinal Drive in on a broadcast tonight. Community Spirit Bank, Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vinson, your Edward Jones agent is Mike Jones, and also Kim Lindsay does all your screen printing and monogramming. And number 72 is the injured player, I think, over there. And the officials are letting the teams go to the sideline. I'm not for sure exactly what the injury is over there to number, I believe it's 72 there. That is uh, Timothy Trussell. They did let the players come to the sideline. We're about uh, counting halftime and even before we're, uh, of course, uh, two hours and 16 minutes into a broadcast. And you say, what station are we watching? You're watching WRMG, Classic Oldies, 97.9 FM and AM 1430. And we're also TV 12 and TV 97, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Tonight, we're live in Red Bay at Fred Bostick Jr. Memorial Stadium. We've got Denisa back at Control Center. Gene Thorne says the humidity is 79%, and it's 80 degrees, but it's, it's pretty hot here tonight. And uh, hopefully that young man is going to be over there. Oh, Wallace Helms is uh, checking in with us tonight. Wallace, thank you for being out there. Red Bay leads 16 to 10. Got an awesome drive going. The clock will start back. We have right now, I guess first down, uh, or fourth, second and about a yard, we're gonna get a first down. So we'll have a first down at the 19 yard line. Thank you, Miss Nina Wood checking in. Craig Kennedy checking in out in Nevada tonight. And I want to say hello to Craig and Miss Janice, Miss Janet, and uh, of course, Keith out there tonight. Keith not with us here on the broadcast and we miss you, Keith, but guess what? Boy, Tigers got a good one going here. 16 to 10, y'all make sure you tell Kurt hello for tomorrow. Uh, hello tomorrow, I think they've already won on up in Kentucky. They'll join him up there tomorrow for the game. First down, 10 of the Tigers at the 19 yard line. And guess what? Logan Scott is gonna move a little early. We'll, I think I hit the right button. You'll see him move her. Oops, see that little nudge there and that cost us five yards. Thank you, Miss Wanda Nelson Schubert checking in with us out there tonight. Congratulations to Mike and Miss Wanda on their getting married here a few days ago. Don't forget, if you need any screen printing or monogramming done, it's uh, Kim Lindsay. You can reach her on Facebook or 256 668 0142. And also, don't forget your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones. 440 to go, 16 to 10, Red Bay. Rolling out to the right, looking downfield, the long throw, it's gonna be way overthrown. Intended for Burks over there. We're gonna show you this play. He rolls out to the right. Long throw down there, great camera work, and you can see it's overthrown, he was covered well. And now we're looking at uh, second down and 15 to go. We need to get to the 10 yard line. We're currently setting, um, at the 25 yard line, second down and 15 to go. We got four minutes and 30 seconds to go. 16 to 10, Red Bay. Quarterback looking, 
throws it to Arden. He's got it at the 15 yard line to the 14. And now we're gonna be looking at third down and about four, we got a flag across the way. And we're gonna see, that was a way behind the play. Thank you, Mary Elizabeth Moore checking in. Shane McNeil with us out there, Dean Hubbard. Hayden Deaton checking in with us. No flag, they wave it off. 4.22 to go, Dean, you better keep listening now. Four minutes and 22 seconds to go, 16 to 10, the score. Melissa Ray out there with us tonight. Thank you, Dr. Ralph Nix, Family Dentistry, located behind the post office, 356-8641. Thank you, Deaton Funeral Home, Albin Mason Construction Company. We got Predator Pest Control, Ronald Thorne, your State Farm agent. We also got Med Express of Red Bay, Triple D's Bucket Service, Mike Engel at Engel Farms. We got Tiffin Motor Homes, Wright's Body and RV Repair. We got Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. We're going to let some time run off and then call a timeout. 3.57 to go in the game. Red Bay 16, Addison 10. We're going to be looking at third down and about uh, four to go for the first down. Dean Hubbard says he's going to stay with us, and he said he's got me. Tommy Cox, Peggy, thank you. Jason Milam checking in with us. We got live coverage here tonight with instant replay, something brand new we've added to the broadcast here tonight. And if we had a better internet here at the, uh, of course, I'm using having to use a hotspot tonight because somebody tore the fiber optic line that went from the school over here. They had me a fiber optic line in here so we'd have really good internet. We didn't get to use it at all. It's been tore up since the first game here of the season at Red Bay, and looks like no sign of getting it repaired anytime soon. So hopefully we'll have it back by our next home game for the Belmont game on the 27th. So we got the capabilities. Uh, got to keep adding parts to the puzzle here to even do it high def on Facebook Live. And eventually we're going to, you're going to be able to watch it on Facebook Live and YouTube, probably Twitter, all at the same time on a Friday night. Tasha Armstrong, thank you. Rodney Pinnell, Red Bay Tigers, third down and four. And we're down to 3.57 to go in the game. Red Bay leads Addison, Alabama. Powerhouse Addison, Alabama. 16 to 10. We're in the power eye. Colin Humphreys is your tailback. Cam and Logan, and now we're going to have a flag, and, and guess what? A false start for the Red Bay Tigers. We've had, I don't know how many penalties tonight, but too many. Cody Wooten checking in with us. Thank you, Tri-State Insurance, Kim and Caleb Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser down in Red Bay. You can reach uh, Miss Brenda, 356-4804. When you become a customer of ours, you become family at Tri-State Insurance. We get the power guys out of there. We're gonna to have to try something else. Bill Donald Weatherford, thank you at Red Bay Pharmacy, home of Bio-Light, the IV in a bottle. We got third down and eight. Pass incomplete, it's underthrown. Uh, a little flare pass out to the left, way underthrown on that one. We'll show it to you again. We got one-on-one -on -one coverage out there. If he can catch the ball, he's got a chance at uh, Maybe beating that guy over there, but the pass is underthrown, so it'll be fourth down. Number 16 checking into the game for the Red Bay Tigers is Colby Jackson. Kayla Moses Harden checking in. We got Holly Louie checking in. Triple D's is with us. Chastity Franks, BJ Mink, Gary and Susan Puckett checking in. Folks, this is big time important. 3.52 to go. Red Bay leads 16 to 10, and now. A timeout, Red Bay. I don't know how many timeouts we got left. Not many, but uh, this is such a big play here. Red Bay band, band sounding great tonight, as somebody has just said. Renee and Farron Kent, Ralph Winchester, Miss Cheryl out there tonight. Thank you, Banner Tire Store, on our broadcast here tonight. I'm Jack Ivey live, Red Bay and Addison playing here. And the score is the Red Bay Tigers 16 to 10. 16 to 10. Don't forget we got a night off next week. And don't forget about the big Anthony Pounds fundraiser uh, up at the First United Methodist Church. Uh, all the proceeds going for Anthony and his family. And of course, Anthony's 
Uh, not doing very well. He's going through a lot of treatments and uh, lots and lots of expenses, as you can imagine. So let's all uh, step up and do whatever you can to help Anthony. Big time, pray for him. But uh, they're going to need some financial support too. And if you haven't helped and you'd like to, you don't have to wait to the benefit. Uh, Anthony Pounds, uh, one of the coaches for the Red Bay Tigers. And uh, everybody loves Coach Anthony. Here we go, fourth down and nine to go. A man in motion for the Tigers. And we're going to put it up across the middle, and it was tipped and incomplete. He was open, but it got tipped up there early, or we would have had a touchdown. And let's see if we can get a replay of this, and I don't know where we can or not. I don't think we're going to. Yeah, there we go. There's your replay. You see that guy tip it up. Can we watch that again, Jack Ivey? I don't guess I'll let you watch it again. Boy, that was big. We would have had a touchdown. Now we've got to play some defense. 3.47 to go. we got a 16 to 10 lead. Their quarterback's going to put it up. He completes a pass to the right side. He's got good running room. He's got a first down plus five, plus seven. We throw him out of bounds, and luckily if we don't get a flag over there, So a nice completed pass from their number three, Dayton Roberts. And they're gonna have a first down. And they're gonna be an unnecessary roughness call against the Red Bay Tigers across the way. They got it all the way up to about the 40 yard line from the 20. But there's another flag back at about the 25 yard line we got to deal with. And I don't know where that person that threw that flag back there had anything to do with the unnecessary roughness that Mr. Jeremy West was talking about on the PA here. But there's a flag back at the 25. They did complete the pass. He got it all the way up to almost the 40 yard line. Red Bay leads 16 to 10. Addison Bulldogs, one loss to Piedmont, and they're a powerhouse, I think, in maybe 3A or so. Y'all know Piedmont better than I do. Thank you, Penny Moore Raper. Scott Osborne checking in with us. Hit them hard, Levi. Paula Rogers-Jones, Randy Reno out there with us tonight. Kim Sparks, Donnie Hezel, Mike again. Chris Humphreys with us out there tonight. Thank you for watching Red Bay Tiger football tonight. On WRMG, we're AM 1430, 97.9 FM. We're also on TV 12 tonight. We're on Facebook Live. We'll be on YouTube by the time you get up in the morning. They're still talking it away across the way over there. And you can see their coach listening in big time. Miss Paula Rogers-Jones said, my granddaughter Natalie Tyler is playing in the band. They're great. Mama old Paula loves you. So a holding penalty against Addison is the call, then a, then a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Let's see how this plays out. Thank you. Chris and Valerie Marr are checking in with us. Rex Patterson. We got, uh, of course, Miss Brenda Elliott, Conde Funderburk out there with us, Jane Edwards and Woody out there. They're going to step this penalty off, first of all, against Addison. Let's see, let's see what the call is. We're going to not speculate. We're going to watch it uh, come out right here on the field and see what happens. We'll not have a post-game interview tonight because Keith is not here. So they stepped it off. Now they're turning around stepping it off against uh, the ball club from uh, Red Bay. So they stepped off the penalty against Addison. Now they stepped it off against Red Bay, and it is going to be enough for the first down. Instead of it being on the 40 and 15 more yards, we got a break there. They're going to have it at their own 31-yard line. Thank you, Mary Lou Saint, checking in with us out there tonight. Facebook Live. Make sure you follow us, share this link, let your friends know about WRMG. Quarterback rolling out, looks downfield, and he passes it across the middle, complete up to the 50, down to the 41-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Addison Bulldogs. There you see the quarterback rolling out. He cuts back in, throws underneath at the 45. He caught it at the 50, got it down to about the 41-yard line. It's first down and 10. Actually, it was a 46, and they're going to give him down to the 44-yard line. 
Jane Edwards said she's at the game but still watching her TV broadcast. Thank you, Miss Jane. 44-yard line, first and 10. How much time? 3.27 to go. Red Bay leads 16 to 10. Quarterback back to pass. Pass incomplete at the 40-yard line. There you'll see the Addison Ball Club. On the play drops back. He's got a man set down right there, but he couldn't hang on to it at the 40-yard line. That would have been a five-yard pickup. Line of scrimmage at the 44-yard line. Clock stopped on the incomplete pass, 322. There's lots and lots of time. Thank you, Darby Madden checking in. Josh Raper, Jeremy Forsythe, Valerie Morris says defense. Quarterback back to pay. Got a receiver to the right. It's complete. 45 down to the 40. We knock him out of bounds across the way. And there you see the pass complete. We got a defender on and away. There's a... Looks like number three over there, Mr. Pounds, knocking him out of bounds. He's going to be short of the first down. He needs to get down to the 34-yard line for the first down. He's at uh, between 36 and 37. It's about two and a half yards. Lee Morfa said the replays is what's been missing. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Sherry Collins, Twyla Graham. Sylvia Lyles, Doug says it looks good in Alaska tonight. Third down and two and a half yards to go. They hand it off. Nope. We hit him, but let him get loose. Now push him back. Let's see where they placed this ball. Let's see where they spotted at. And I think he's going to get a pretty good spot across the way. And it is going to be a first down. Thank you, J.T. Abels. Mr. Mike Engel checking out there. Triple D said they like the replay tonight. Elsie Malone out there with us tonight. Daniel Hastings, no block. First down and 10 at the 34-yard line of the Red Bay Tigers. They hand it off to number 18. He's got some running room, five, six, seven yards. Now he breaks loose, and uh, I don't know exactly where he stepped out of bounds. Inside the 30. And let's see where he spots it at. The 30, let's see, 28-yard line is where he's going to be at. We're down to 2.48 to go in the game. Addison 16, the Red, or rather Red Bay 16, Addison 10. We got a hold of here. 16 to 10, Addison trails the Red Bay Tigers. We're on top with 2.48 to go. Second down and four, hand off. We're gonna hit him and let him get loose. Now he goes around the side, got a first down and more. Folks, we had him in the backfield and should have had him for a loss, but didn't lock up as you'll see here. See, we've got him stopped all the way back, let him get loose. He turns, luckily we had somebody to knock him out of bounds, but he's got a first down and more down at the 20 yard line. Danny Latham with us after tonight, Red Bay Tigers. Joe Tesner and all the crew watching, first down 10 with 2.40 to go. Clock not moving very fast, is it? Quarterback back to pass, looking. What about an interception? What about a sack? No, he got the pass off. Over the middle, inside the 15 to the 13 yard line. Looked like we had him again, but uh, let him get away. Look at him, we're fixing to sack him and he dumps it off. So it will be second down as he picked up seven yards on that play, down to about the 13 yard line. Thank you, Banner Tire Store, Redmond Heating and Cooling, the Red Bay Hospital, Chris and Valerie Moore at Bay Diesel, Dr. Rick Wooten at 301 Jackson Avenue. If he takes care of all your injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing, Wooten Chiropractic, 331-0208, and Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks and the staff. A little sweep to the right side. Tigers lock him up over there, but uh, they still let him get away a little bit to pick up a yard or two. We're down to a minute 40 clock running. Red Bay leads 16 to 10. And it's gonna be third down and about two to go for the first down at the 12 yard line. Folks, this is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Hope you enjoy our broadcast here tonight. 
Here we go, third down and two. 13 yard line, the handoff, we hit him. We push him back. I don't know what kind of forward progress he got. And we'll see exactly where they place it. And he is gonna have enough for the first down. First down for the Addison Bulldogs. We're down to one minute to go. One minute to go. 54 seconds, clock running. Danny Latham saying get loud. There's Jenny Coker out there with us tonight. Gary Blackburn with us. 43 seconds to go. First down and goal just inside the 10. They hand it off to the right side. We stack him up at about the eight and push him back. A lot of Red Bay Tigers in on that play there. They tried to run it to the right side. We stood him up, held on tight, and now we have got a timeout. So a timeout with 31 seconds to go. Is this going down to the wire or not? Come on, Stephen Pores, you gotta do some defense, make some noise wherever you're at tonight. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers lead 16 to 10 against the Addison Bulldogs. Byron, give me some of them Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders down below. Let's see if we can pick up some of those. They're making some noise down there. They're right up against the fence there. Red Bay 16 to 10, 31 seconds to go, Addison. At about the eight yard line, second down and goal. Second down and goal as we take you back to the field. Thank you folks for watching tonight. It's been an honor to bring the broadcast. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you don't, if you don't follow us, at Jack W. Ivy, make sure you follow us before you get off tonight. Quarterback back to pass, scrambling. We're after him, he throws it, he completes it. We make the stop at about the six yard line and the clock will continue to run. Cam McKinney in on the stop for the Red Bay Tigers. You see he made the catch, we made the tackle and we've got another timeout with 13 seconds to go. I might, I don't know where I can show you that again. Watch this play right here. We wrap him up. That's how you bring him down. You know what I might do since we got about a half a second? Well, I'll say I might. I'm gonna show you that play again and see if I can slow it down. Slow-mo to go with the instant replay. And once again, the Red Bay Tigers lead in the ball game by a score of 16 to 10. We have 13 seconds to go. It's been an honor to bring you the broadcast here tonight. Thank you, Miss Sheila Ellums, checking in with us. Joe, you better be careful with that coffee table out there. All right, here comes Addison out. Their quarterback is Dayton Roberts. He's in the shotgun. Three receivers to the right and one to the left. He's gonna roll out to the right. He's gonna pull it down. We're gonna make the stop and stop him. And remember, it's third down. Not much time. Two seconds, one second. And Red Bay has won the ball game. The time has run out. Addison didn't have enough time to get another one on. And the Red Bay Tigers are celebrating a 16 to 10 lead. Addison pulled it down, tried to run with it, and we tackled him, and guess what? There was no more time, only two seconds. I don't think they had a timeout or they would have called it, and the Red Bay Tigers are victorious tonight by a score of 16 to 10. What a big win for the Red Bay Tigers here tonight. If you're out there joining us on our broadcast, appreciate you being with us here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. What a win by the Red Bay Tigers tonight. Uh, make sure you follow us now. Vino won tonight 58 to 18 over Cherokee. 16 to 10, the Red Bay Tigers win. Before you get off of Facebook Live tonight, make sure you follow us. Then we'll notify you the second we go live and you won't miss any of the broadcasts, okay? Once again, this is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. We are the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Keith not with us tonight. Uh, Coach probably is not even aware of that, so he'll be looking for us after. 
Byron, you don't want to go down and do that uh, interview there, do you? Great job there. Thank you, Susan Puckett, Patricia Cole, Miss Sue Helms. Uh, thank you, Brother Steve Lindsay. Thank you, Miss Tammy Jeffries, uh, Kena, uh, uh, Victoria. Uh, thank you for being out there tonight. Thank you, Stephen Pores. Once again, the Red Bay Tigers. Uh, Byron, put that camera down on the coach now and the players just for a second while I wrap up the uh, show here. Uh, coach going to talk to him. Uh, like I say, Keith is not here for the post-game interview tonight, but what a win by the Tigers here tonight, winning it 16 to 10. 16 to 10, the Red Bay Tigers are victorious. And what a big win this is for the Red Bay Tigers. It's uh, been an honor to bring the broadcast to you here tonight. Thank you for the folks that have kept us up to date on the other games around. And uh, hopefully you'll go back and watch this broadcast again. As soon as we go off, probably within 10 minutes or less, you can actually go watch the game again on Facebook, so if I don't mess anything up. So I hope you uh, enjoy the broadcast and especially the win. We've got a week off next week. And then Belmont will be in town on the 27th. For Byron Helms, Denisa back at Control Center, I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us here tonight on the Red Bay Tiger uh, Football Network tonight. We are WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, our broadcast win tonight for the Red Bay Tigers. Once again, the final score, Red Bay wins it tonight 16-10 to over the Addison Bulldogs. And can we say good night, may God bless you, and we'll see you next time for more Red Bay Tiger football, and good night from Fred Bostick Jr. Memorial Stadium. <laughs>